Do you ever find yourself thinking, hey, synthetic biology sounds really cool. I'd like to know more about that, but I don't know where to begin. Well, if that's the case, I've got just the series for you. I'm Professor Kunjapur, and over the course of 2022, I'll be debuting the SynBio transcript. <laughs> I'm making this video series for a few different audiences, but especially if you're right at that undergrad to grad student transition. You know, you might be a grad student, maybe you've already decided what lab you're going to join, congratulations by the way, and it's a synthetic biology lab. But there's a feeling that you have that maybe the papers are a little bit difficult to access and you want to know about the bigger picture, and so you're looking for other resources. Maybe you're a grad student and you haven't joined a lab yet and you're trying to decide, well, I've heard a lot about synthetic biology and I can read these papers, but I don't really know the bigger picture either. Maybe you're an undergrad and you're deciding on what undergrad research lab to join or you've successfully gotten admitted to various grad schools. Congrats also. Um, you could be trying to figure out, um, you know, what is this field about? Is this something I want to spend six years potentially doing my PhD on? Maybe you're a professional. Uh, you already work in industry. Could be a different industry. Could be biotech. And you're seeing all of these job opportunities with synthetic biology. And you want to know a little bit more about what kind of academic background and skills you might need to be successful in that area, whether it makes sense to change your career path. And maybe you're an investor and you've been looking at how much money synthetic biology companies have been raising and your firm is thinking, well, maybe we want to get into that space, but we need a little bit better of an understanding. Um, and it could be the science. It could be some other aspects as well. So for all of you, the SynBio transcript is meant to be kind of an introduction to synthetic biology with a little bit of the perspective also that we have as academic researchers working in the area. So there are a lot of folks who work in the area of synthetic biology, and I'm just one of them. But I do have some expertise in the field. So for five years at MIT, I earned my PhD in chemical engineering, training specifically in the area of metabolic engineering, where we tinker with the DNA of cells to produce chemicals more sustainably with rewired metabolism. I then went on to do a postdoc postdoctoral research in the laboratory of George Church at Harvard Med School. And George Church is a really big pioneer in the field, helped do a lot of foundational research and start many companies. Um, since 2018, uh, I've run a lab at the University of Delaware, where I'm also an assistant professor. And my synthetic biology research group uh, has more than 10 full-time uh, students working in our lab. Uh, at the forefront of trying to expand microbial chemistry. Um, at the University of Delaware, we also have a nice cohort of faculty across all stages of academia running different kinds of synthetic biology research programs. So with that perspective, as well as the perspective of my network, which includes several uh, founders and early employees of startups, I'll try to give you a little bit more of a picture of what you could do in synthetic biology that's not just academia, and maybe not even just industry. Um, could be finance, science, communication, policy, and a variety of other emerging roles in this really exciting research area. So that's all I got for this episode. Um, this was just meant to be an introduction to what I'm trying to do here, who I am, that's in BioTranscript, what it's going to be about. And you can decide whether or not you, know, you want to subscribe to the Kunjapur Lab Academy channel um, and stay up to date uh, as we roll out this series. Um, you know, I hope that some of what I share could be useful to you. Um, and I'd point out that there's also other resources available, a little bit more lecture, professor style, um, from my online lectures in metabolic engineering or in chemical engineering kinetics. And you can find those on the YouTube channel as well. So I'm Professor Kunjapur, and I'm signing off. Stay hungry, my friends. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.